What did I just watch? Just now. Well, I know it's Cap, and I'm about to fix it. <sighs> How many times do I have to deal with you fucking goons? Okay, I'll just debunk every point you make in this video. The other world does have time. If it doesn't have time, why did King Kai stated that Goku would take it two days to reach Earth? Why two days, but not zero time? Also, Goku even mentioned about the six months thing. Also, where in your scan does it show that it doesn't have space? I really want to know about that. So for your first point, saying that other world has the concept of time because they refer to two days passing on Earth doesn't debunk shit because they are referring to how many time, how many days will pass on Earth. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is just put this in IBA as pain so y'all can understand better. The other world, this is Earth. It takes two days to reach on Earth combined with a ratio of no concept of time at all. If there's no concept of time, there shouldn't be a finite time amount on Earth. If you're training on Otherworld, there shouldn't be, <laughs> there shouldn't be finite time passing. It's very rare to try to argue that. Just because Otherworld doesn't have the concept of time and space doesn't mean that other realms outside of Otherworld can't move, even though they have concepts of time and space within themselves. You will literally be pretty much arguing that Otherworld and all other realms within Dragon Ball doesn't have the concept of time and space by your logic because that means that they can't move because other world doesn't move. Space and time are intertwined. If you don't have the concept of time, you don't have the concept of space. I'm not gonna get on it too much because he most likely does not know how this works. In your own scan, it blatantly says that time cannot behave without space because space can only happen with time. Because time is simply just the progression of something in distance, so a space can't expand or become larger because it has no time in it. Nor can a space change because of time. What they're trying to say is that in real life, someone who has a space cannot function without time. But just because you have zero concept of time, that doesn't mean you have zero concept of space. Because by that same logic, everyone with spatial manipulation, aka humans, has space-time manipulation. In the bottom paragraph, it says, in short, the time you experience depends on the velocity through space as an observer. If there is no time on a conceptual level, then that means there's no experience to go through. And if there's no experience to go through, that means that there's no velocity of space to begin with. And there's no velocity in space, there's no time to experience, and so on and so forth. It goes back in an infinite loop. That's the point. That means that other world doesn't have time and space on a conceptual level. Because if there's no space, that means there's no time to experience. If there's no time, there's no space to experience. I mean, there's no space to go through. There's no velocity, no movement to go through space. Either way, if it were, if they were said you no know, concept of time exists in other world, that means it would have been no concept of space. But since it says no concept of time in other world, that means it's no concept of space. Either or, it didn't matter if it said just space or it just said just time, it would still have been out of verso. Also, transcending dimension in different contexts is related to spiritual realm. And what's the other world is a spiritual realm, a place where people come after they die. Nothing about dimensionality in this context. What the hell are you talking about? This game literally says transcend dimensionality. This is just a cut clear example of going circular. What the other person is trying to do is provide an equal interpretation to what the scan entails. You're just repeating the same thing. That doesn't really matter. The real scan literally just says transcending dimensions. You even say this in your translation where dimensionality can sometimes mean dimension. It's a transcend dimensions with the kanji used to describe this being super dimensional or cho jigen which literally means beyond the order or magnitude or concept of dimensions it's 2023 and yet dragon ball fans still using the rpg game and it's inconsistent you can watch my video right on top on how inconsistent it is also one thing about metaphysical metaphysical and metaphysics are not the same thing and you can read it right here oh my god these dragon ball are downplay or retard arguments the rpg guidebook is valid this book isn't even written by the original suesha or you know the original kira toriyama team even at the bottom, we can see that Suesha and Toei Animation actually copyrighted them, so there's no possible way this could be canon. Bro, do you even know what a copyright is, or are you just being disingenuous on purpose? I'm just going to leave this here for a few seconds for everyone else to read, because it seemed like you either trying to be ratty, or you're literally just trying to lie, straight up lie to our faces. Get their information from the anime, the manga, the guidebooks, and the Toriyama sketches. Not only did I personally go into the transcript myself and not find a single word naming meta, but if you go into the Afterlife Tournament arc where this should be taking place, meta is still not mentioned. Metaphysical doesn't have to do anything with metaphysics, huh? This is such a blatant straw man. The guy debunking Gogeta in the video literally said that metaphysical and metaphysics aren't the same thing, not that they can't relate to each other. And simply relating to another thing would just be a correlation fallacy for you to use as an actuality. Yet again, inconsistent. Stop using that crap. Prove is inconsistent. The Super Saiyan transformations have been said to have multipliers. Finite multipliers. 
if what you're saying is true, you're basically assuming that Super Saiyan 3 is infinite layers, two infinite layers, I might add, above Super Saiyan 1, which is just inconsistent. Because then it would imply that your power is above infinite, which is inconsistent because we know that Saiyans run out of stamina almost often. And this just breaks the narrative of Dragon Ball entirely. We know that Dragon Ball has key control. So Goku when he got hit by a rock by Krillin is obviously using key control, but he was still in Super Saiyan. So are you telling he got an infinite layer inaccessible above his base form, yet he was able to control his key all the way down to base form? You know, again, by an infinite cardinal. Yeah, I don't think I have to tell you how extraordinarily brain dead that sounds. Looks like somebody had to do their research on Dragon Ball before talking. There's many skins within the anime, within the manga, and within other guidebooks that imply that it's a transcendence over the other forms, or a transcendence over base form. Fusion Outerversal? Will I can say that Fusion would have 20 times multiplier? These scans doesn't debunk anything. Because what's Outerversal times Outerversal? Yeah, you don't know. The only scan here that you can even argue that kind of debunks the argumentation is the Kefla scan, but that doesn't mean that it's the, it's the highest their power increased. I'm starting to think that you're mentally incapable of arguing properly. There's no such thing as Outerversal times Outerversal, which literally proves the point that it's a finite multiplier. That's the only thing that actually makes sense. So you're answering your own question. It doesn't make sense to times them both. Okay, but how come this power didn't increase his speed? It would make a lot more sense because what Vegeta said right there would be contradictory. <laughs> I shouldn't use that retarded argument on someone else. This literally doesn't debunk anything. That form is literally stated just to increase your strength, not your speed. I'm contemplating on whether or not this guy should even be lobotomized. If it kills your speed, then it literally debunks you being outerversal. You can't, <laughs> you can't divide outerversal by a finite number, or nor subtract it by a finite number. That's just not possible. <laughs> yes, you can. What the fuck are you talking about? You sound fucking retarded. You literally, that by your logic, that means that every outerversal character with a relevant speed are equal in speed. So that means that any character in fiction can speed blitz another outerversal character no matter what, by your logic. Since they all have equal amount of speed, they can't be divided by, they can't be subtracted by, they can't be added on, they can't be multiplied, they can't do anything. That means that they always get speed blitz. So that means a high outer character will get speed blitzed by outerversal character. And that means a boundless character will get speed blitzed by outerversal character by your dumbass logic. I don't know about that because Fredering is kinda omniscient. Knowing something doesn't equate to knowing how to do it. That is literally not his argument. Being omniscient is knowing everything in its entirety. So if I know what something is, I will also know how to do that said thing. I literally debunked that point in the other video. If you know something, that doesn't instantly mean that you're the master of something. Just because you know something, that doesn't mean you know how to act on it. Just because you have knowledge on something, that doesn't mean you can instantly be able to master it or hone an ability to be able to beat master martial artists. Also, the scan that you just used right here just debunks you other world having no time, even though it does. And also, Fredering takes it. That really telling him how, how much his training equates to it. It doesn't mean that time actually exists in other world. It means how much experience he has just by training with him. It doesn't instantly mean other world has time. If I'm training in the place of no concept of time, it cannot be equivocated to a finite time on a different universe. Having no concept of time means that time is completely irrelevant to you. Meaning that you can train a lot and it would take zero time or even negative time if you wanted. If Otherworld had no concept of time, then how come it literally took him time to go on Snake Road? How come as soon as Goku died, he didn't just instantly go back to Earth? I already debunked this point at the beginning of the video.